Hello there! Today I want to talk to you about a Dragon Ball game from Toppy Games. It's called Dragon Ball Super – The Survival of the Universe. And yes, in fact, this is a huge battle game in which we're going to have warriors from eight different universes go against each other in the ultimate battle to annihilate one another. Um, so we have um, character cards for all 80 characters and we have character tokens here. Um, so as you can see, I've put the board in the center um, and we've got defense, event, attack and special cards down here. Each player is going to start with one defense, one attack and one special card. So I've got mine right here. And then um, we are going to take it in turns to select our warriors and we're each going to have six. Uh, so you can see I have my selected team here. And once we have selected our team and we have our cards and tokens, we're going to put the remaining Warriors of the Universe into one big deck, which we'll shuffle and put to the side. That'll be used for battles later on. We're also going to take it in turns to position our Warriors on the board here. Now that everybody has put their Warriors on the board, we're going to be able to begin the tournament. Now, you should choose before you start whether to play in 10 rounds, 5 rounds, or to put a time limit on the game. So, for, exa for example, you play for 45 minutes and then you see who has the most warriors left on the board at the end. And the person who has the most warriors left and so who also was able to annihilate the most of their opponent opponent's warriors, they will be the winner. Um, so the youngest player goes first and before they make any moves on the board they're going to reveal an event card and apply the effect directly to the game. So here the card I've drawn is Maximum Transformation. I can choose a warrior from my team and attack my f at my final level of transformation without rolling any transformation dice. Indeed, um, some of the characters can transform into more evolved versions of their, of, uh, their existing characters. So for example here I have Jiren who can transform into full power Jiren um, and usually to be able to do that I have to roll a transformation dice at the beginning of my turn to see if I'm able to fight with the evolved version or just stick to the regular one. Um, so um, I've I've uh, got my event card, now I'm going to choose one of my warriors and I'm going to move them up to four squares on the board. Um, now I can choose to move in any direction on the board, um, on any adjacent square. So um, I can basically go wherever I want, up to four squares, and I can pass over squares where there are already warriors on them. Um, so I'm not blocked, uh, uh, I, there's nothing stopping me from going in any direction I want. Um, the final square I land on, or that I choose to land on, um, is going to have an effect. So if I land on a red square, I'm going to draw an extra attack card. If I land on a blue square, I will draw an extra special card. And if I land on a yellow square, I will draw an extra defense card. If I land on a green square, I will draw the first warrior off the top of the remaining warrior's deck, and I will fight that warrior. Uh, but my goal, of course, uh, is not to land on empty squares, really, it's to be able to fight the other players. So I'm aiming to try and land on a square where one of my opponents is. Um, so, for example, let's imagine um, that I'm with Sankaku and one, two, three. I can decide to stop on this square and fight against Sao Nel. So, how do we actually do an attack? Well, let's take a look at the Sankaku character card. As you can see here, she has a number of life points. She also has a number of attack dice and a number of throws that are allowed for the attack dice. So she can throw twice to try and make her combos and her combos are down here. Um, as you can see, the combinations have little symbols next to them um, and the symbols correspond to the symbols that we have on the attack dice. So it's a little bit like Yahtzee. You have a number of throws to try and make the combinations on your attack cards with the number of the dice that you're given. So in this instance, I have my four attack dice and I can throw twice. So, on the first throw, I've got two out of three symbols for doing the rush attack. So I'm going to keep those to the side and throw two more dice. And there we see that I've been able to do the attack because I have all three symbols. So my opponent is going to receive the damage that's indicated on the card 
unless of course my opponent is able to dodge. For Senka Ku to dodge an attack, she would have to get three of these dodge symbols on her attack dice with just two rolls. Every single character also has a special power that's mentioned at the bottom of the card, so don't forget to apply that when you play. So for example here, Sankaku's opponent would get one less roll when attacking against Sankaku. When you enter into a fight, you don't always have to use your attack dice. You can also use your attack and defense cards instead of an attack with your dice. And some of these require combinations and some of them don't. For example, here I have a defense card, last minute save, and for this card, I don't have to do any special combinations. But for this attack card, the Ultra Instinct Kanahamaha, I would have to get this combination down here. So that's quite a combination. If my attack is successful, then my opponent is going to lose the number of life points indicated next to the attack. Then, if they still have some life points left over, it will be their turn to try and attack me. But obviously, the first one to have no life points left is the loser, and the one who still has their life points is the winner of that match. As I said before, the ultimate game of this ultimate survival of the universe game is to be the last man standing, to be the person at the end of the game who has the most warriors still on the board. This is a game for two to six players, ages seven and up, and it takes about 30 to 45 minutes to play around, depending on which format you choose.